Hello there. It's been said that diversification is the investing equivalent of a free lunch. The research suggests that not only is it the best way of managing risk, but over the long term, it also leads to higher returns. The good news is that index funds and other passively managed investments have diversification built in. Here's the investment author, Lars Croyer. I um, believe in index funds because you uh, can very, very cheaply get exposure to a very broad array of industries, sectors, geographies and jurisdictions without really doing much yourself. It's better than buying a individual stocks or even picking individual industries or countries. We're always hearing about investors who bought just the right thing at the right time, but they're actually in a tiny minority. Sure, you might get lucky, but why take the risk of being unlucky? Take the example 20 years ago that you had invested in just one market. If you had picked the right market, that would have been great. If you had picked the market that was in vogue at the time, namely Japan, you would have lost 75 or 80% of your money. If you had picked the whole world, which is what I advocate doing, um, you would have diversified the risk away of being unlucky in picking just one country, in this case, Japan. Of course, this is the age of globalization. Markets in different parts of the world are more closely correlated than they were before. So have the benefits of diversification lessened? I give the short answers. The short answer is yes. And why is that? Because companies are now more global. If you look at Google, they operate in every country in the world, I'm sure, as does McDonald's and Philips and all the other big companies. The short answer is the benefits of diversification is lessened. The counter to that is, though, that 50 years ago, even when I was at university, not quite 50 years ago, in, in, the, in the early 90s, early mid 90s, you couldn't actually buy it. So you couldn't actually easily get exposure to most of these countries. You know, you say, well, let's buy some shares in India. Well, 20 years ago, you couldn't actually do it. You could buy the US, some countries in Western Europe, perhaps Japan. You, you, all these other diversifying markets were simply not available to you. Now they are. Just like back then, index investments like Vanguard were just really beginning to increase in size. But even back then, they only had the US markets. Now they're global. Use those, uh, the benefits you can gain from that. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.